Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Just a quick hello from me at the moment. I've, what I'm doing is I'm getting set up camp. Uh, I'll tell you all about the kit shortly, but we're running out of daylight now. It's the beginning of October. So what I'm gonna do is set it all up, get things ready, then I've gotta go home, <laughs> sort out the children with tea and so on. And then I'm gonna come back just as the light starts to fade and 
bring you back up to date with what's going on with this particular camp. But you've seen the setup, I'm very excited about it and I'll speak to you later. Well, I've been back home. I've sorted out uh, the kids and their tea and so on just to make sure I'm doing my bit. And hopefully the sound's a little bit better as well because I've got uh, the um, microphone now, the, the better quality one attached. Well, yeah, uh, camp. I'm in my little bit of permission woodland. It's been a really bad sort of few days as far as weather. This was the only day with a weather window, so it's going to be okay into the evening and then possibly during the night and certainly tomorrow is very heavy rain forecast I'd much prefer put up camp in dry weather rather than um, the other way around put it up in wet weather and clear in, uh, in the rain so yeah hopefully it's not going to be too bad anyway I've got the pommelie hot tarp which is great so far it's got the lone wolf 902 emblem i know he's had an awful lot to do with the design of it and i've watched his uh, youtube channel as the uh, progress of this tarp has sort of morphed really into what it is now and yeah it looks at the moment really good it goes up with uh, a standard ridge line uh, with eyelets and then you can have both ends open but you can then close um, one or both of the ends to make it uh, cosy inside once you sort of uh, bed down for the night. At the moment I'm keeping it open because it's a very mild evening. I've got my Pommely T1 Mini Titanium uh, wood burner in as well, which I've used a few times. I did a review of it. You can have a little look at the review. There's the card. And next to that, I've got my little sort of wire grill, kind of warming plate, plus it's a good surface to uh, put things on whilst you're preparing the food. I processed lots of wood now. I've got some softwood uh, kindling and some hardwood, just slightly bigger bits, and then uh, some pieces of hardwood about sort of six inch long, which should sort me out uh, for the night. And yeah, it's good. It's a really nice, setup feeling at the moment i've got absolutely loads of room in here the hammocks comfortably away from the <laughs> the uh, wood burner but just in case i've got that with me as well uh, you can't be too careful we're going to do some great cooking tonight and tomorrow morning hopefully using the little titanium wood burner here I've got some lamb chops here, which is supplied by a local farmer. I'll put their little Instagram uh, hashtag or whatever it is there now. They're brilliant. We had some of the lamb last night. Yeah, roast lamb leg, and it was the best I've ever had. So yeah, if you live locally, then look them up because it's really, really good stuff. I've got some lamb chops from them, which I've marinated in some mango chutney a little bit of soy sauce and some honey and they're um, all ready to go I'm going to use my Ridge Monkey sort of double toasting pan that uh, I got the name of wrong I called it a Tree Monkey last time <laughs> and then we got some great breakfast for the morning so yeah I'm just going to start getting my camp all together getting everything out and so I know where it is and I'll speak to you in a little bit
so here's the ingredients for tonight's meal as I said I've got some lamb chops in there marinating in mango chutney soy sauce a bit of honey with some salt and pepper got some new potatoes here which I'm going to cube and fry up in some duck fat with some rosemary in little sort of one centimeter cubes and I've got some asparagus as well and I can't quite decide what I'm going to do whether I'm going to just uh, put it directly onto the burner or whether I'm going to boil it Well I've just come back in here after going outside and taking a few pictures and even with the ends totally open it's like walking to a, into a sauna, it's fantastic I've got uh, one of my Wild Camping International pots on the go. I'm going to have a cup of tea. It's almost boiling already, which is, it's not been on there long. Just shows the uh, heat that these little titanium stoves pack out. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, hopefully a good night. I'll share something with you. Um, I've done a few hammock camps. At the moment, it's not for me. I wake up, go on to camera and go, that was a good night <laughs> and I'm saying it through gritted teeth it's something about sleeping on my back I'm going to give it another go tonight because I've got this lovely sort of shelter and I wanted to try it out but oh if anyone knows of any hammocks where you don't have to sleep on your back then do put something uh, in the description <laughs> below in the comments section that would be great um, but we'll see how tonight goes it's um, yeah I'm just going to keep trying because Sometimes, when I was younger and I started to sleep in a tent, um, it took an awful long time uh, until I stopped <laughs> walking back from my friend's gardens in the middle of the night to get back into my own bed. Um, so yeah, hopefully tonight will be a better night in the hammock. that that's a strong cup of tea that's probably what I need oh yeah good it's already getting dark oh six o'clock I don't know about you but about halfway through summer I start to get apprehensive about winter arriving it's terrible um, I think they call it the um, seasonal adjustment disorder or something uh, sad something sad it's it really does get to me and I shouldn't because I waste too much time worrying about um, what I can't do in when, when winter comes as opposed to I've got all the rest of the summer a bit of tree um, to to sort of enjoy but God, it's it doesn't half make me a little bit um, sort of slightly miserable when the uh, when those dark nights start to come in nevertheless we've got a great evening um, sound like a game show host. We've got a great evening <laughs> in store for you tonight. Um, I'm going to now cube some potatoes uh, ready for... Um, I'm going to saute those after I've done the lamb chops and then I'm going to probably just boil the uh, little spears of asparagus as well but uh, I'll get on with the prep. do me I get so many comments about me uh, eating too much <laughs> so I'll, uh, I've left a, a few potatoes in the um, punnet I'll eat another time well time to start cooking I hope the lights good enough I've got uh, a little floodlight and uh, also the light attached to my camera so hopefully it'll be sufficient but yeah let's get on with it just gonna get some water warming ready for the asparagus I forgot to bring any oil I, was, I usually use coconut oil but I've got some goose fat here that I was going to use for the potatoes anyway so don't need much because the lamb chops are quite fatty anyway so I'll just put a little bit of that in there and save the rest for the potatoes the 
top. Wow, there's a bit of heat in there. <laughs> Gotta be a bit of a jigsaw here because I know I've got five. <laughs> there we go. moving them around a bit. I'm working on the jigsaw. <laughs> right, so I'm going to move those to the side. Still warm just there. Let them rest. And then I've got the other part of the ridge monkey. Which I can put a bit of juice fat in. And that just sort of flavours the oil a bit for cooking these little cube potatoes. There we go. Right, so they've got about five minutes to go, I'd say. Got some boiling water here now. I'll stick my asparagus in. See how red hot that flue is there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, asparagus is just about done. These are done. So, I've got a plate here that's been warming. Pop those on there. Just going to give those a minute to reheat a little bit. It's a small plate on this. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see if you can get that in focus. And here we go. <laughs> Burning me welly on the side of the stove. Thought it was getting a bit hot. Hell, ow! <laughs> anyway, that's delicious. <laughs> Potatoes good. Hmm. Asparagus. Nice. Still a bit crunchy, which is good. So all in all, a success apart from burning my foot. I've got to take my welly off now because I've uh, in quite a lot of pain now. <laughs> oh. ah, it's better. <laughs> I don't think I'll edit that out. It's all real. Anyway. Oh, that's better. Delicious. Really going to uh, enjoy this. I'll get on with it now and I'll speak to you a little later. <laughs> dear oh dear. Mm. So good. With that mango just makes it it's a bit sticky but sweet just really nice
Well, that was a really good meal. I've done all my washing up now and got it just on that little grill next to the stove, nicely drying out. So I feel prepared for the morning. Just gonna sit here and chill, I'm really warm. There's no wind at the moment. So I'm just keeping both ends of this little shelter open. Enjoying the sounds of the stream outside, you can probably hear it. And yeah, really, really pleased to be out. So yeah, just gonna chill and have a hot chocolate shortly. Oh, that's good. Well, I'm just gonna enjoy that hot chocolate for the next 10 minutes or so. It's still lovely and toasty in here. I'm not gonna film myself getting in the hammock <laughs> and then getting out and turning the camera off but I'm really, really hoping for a decent night's sleep. I spoke to you earlier about how I'm not great at sleeping in a hammock. You know, I think I've maybe had about an hour and a half sleep over the course of a night, because that's the best I've done in the hammock. So fingers crossed, it's better. I will keep trying because it's a great way to uh, spend a night out. But yeah, I'll uh, enjoy the rest of this hot chocolate and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning. <laughs> Still not a great night. I, I'm really comfortable. Um, really warm. I just can't work it out why I can't sleep in a hammock. Um, I, I sort of um, got to sleep at about half past three till seven. So it's about three and a half hours, not too bad, better than normal, but. Uh, I, de I deserve more because it's so lovely warm. Um, I closed both ends off on the hammock and built up the fire, so yeah, I can't complain about warmth or anything like that. But it's rained really heavily in the night, and the good thing is this yeah, this lovely shelter's just uh, protected it well. So, cup of tea, I think, that's the main thing. I've got the wood burner lit, got some water on to boil for a cup of tea and for breakfast I'm going to have black pudding and pork sausages. I've got some chicken of the woods that Simon found in um, the Great Glen when we were doing our canoe expedition so I dehydrated some of that so I've got to rehydrate it and then some scrambled eggs with that as well all mixed up I think. I've got my eggs in a little Nalgene bottle. A few people are asking how I did that, so there's a little shot to how you get your eggs in a Nalgene bottle, but don't do it like this, because I actually broke one of them, but it doesn't matter, because it's going to be scrambled. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. How about that for a dog's dinner? <laughs> all the way from the banks of Loch Ness.
Well, it's pretty ugly out there, just as forecast. I'm glad I got the camp uh, set up when it was nice. It's just um, not great to uh, take it down in these conditions, but there you go. I'm going to leave my shelter up whilst my uh, wood burning stove cools down. It's my permission woodland, so uh, I'm okay to leave things up for a couple of hours and I'll, I'll come back uh, once that's all uh, cooled down so I can pack it up. But for now, <laughs> For a very windy and rainy North Yorkshire, that's about enough for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I very much look forward to seeing you again.